heating carbonates, thermal decomposition. Here we've got a sample of calcium carbonate, a few grams in a boiling tube. We've got a bung with a delivery tube and we'll be inserting the delivery tube into this boiling tube that has got some lime water in it. The black paper is to help you see if there's any change. So here's the Bunsen burner. Let's start heating the carbonate. Immediately we can see the evolution of bubbles, but that should be hot air. We've got a steady flow of gas. We should avoid heating the tube in one place, so we move the Bunsen burner slightly. A nice steady stream of gas, but we're still displacing mostly hot air from the apparatus. No change in the lime water. Not yet. Now we're beginning to get something. So this decomposition is quite slow. But you may be able to detect now that the lime water is starting to produce its characteristic milky white or cloudy white precipitate. And that should indicate to you the nature of the gas that's being produced by heating calcium carbonate. So if we remove the tube, we should see cloudiness in the lime water. We have a second experiment. And this one will be heating another carbonate. This one's bright green. This is copper two carbonate. Again, we'll bubble our solution through lime water and the black paper background hopefully to detect any change on screen. So let's compare this one. Start heating the copper carbonate. 
again we immediately get some bubbles as we're displacing air let's just move it a little away from the camera maybe better focused and you may be able to detect some movement in the copper carbonate in the tube it's now turning black into a black powder the rate of evolution of bubbles is far quicker than with the calcium carbonate and the lime water is turning cloudy cloudy white precipitate much quicker than we saw with the calcium carbonate so again thermal decomposition this time of green copper carbonate again we've got the characteristic milky white colour of the lime water